Sabaha everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about a way for us to relieve the stress that we build up on a daily basis. I'm talking specifically by using a product called the Zen. This one is made by a company called Nuvana. They sent it over to me for me to check it out. And I've been using this for the last month. So the first thing I'll say is, does it work? Does it not work? How does it actually work? And how does it actually interact with our Android devices? There's a lot of reviews with Apple devices, nothing's wrong there. But for me, I use Android all the time, so I'll walk you through all of the things that you need to know about the Zen from Nuvana. This is TK, let's check it out. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. So this is the packaging that the Zen comes in. There's pretty much just the logo here. Again, same on this side. On the back, we have some information about what you get in the box, of course. Uh, it includes basically different ear tips. It is supported for iOS and Android. And today we're gonna to be talking about not only how to set it up on Android, but also about the little bit of tricks that we need to know uh, since it seems to be something that we need to do extra when we're using it. Um, it does work over Bluetooth as well as pairing directly into a piece of uh, wired USB-C headphones that they do include in the package. Uh, it does actually connect again both devices you need to download the application and it does use Bluetooth technology. Now in the box they include everything you need to start using the system. Uh, there's the actual unit itself so this is the Zen. It does have a built-in battery non-removable and it does charge via USB-C. So they include a USB-C to USB type A connector and for it to be used with this little charger. One thing I will definitely say is do not try to use a more powerful charger. Unfortunately, this actually pretty much only works with this level. So a one amp charger, if you have others that will work, but anything above one amp, it unfortunately does not work. So using the USB-C cable with the one amp charger, you should be able to charge it up pretty easily. They also include a dock that you're able to put in and that kind of becomes more of a stand for the Zen itself when you're using it. It does have a pass through option on the back to be able to allow you to put the cable. So you don't always have to leave it down. Um, I will say this much after using it for about a month, you'll notice there's a few scuffs here and there on the front part. Uh, there's no protection on it, but uh, for me, they did include a travel kit, which was very nice. So there's a travel kit that's not included in the typical package. They also include a protection sleeve uh, for the back of the Zen. Uh, but essentially when you have this, if you decide to pick it up, it allows you to organize everything with you when you're taking it on the go. So much easier to use if you wanna be able to use it at the office, at school, on the bus, wherever you want, it works great. So one thing to say about this is this system is intended to be very portable, as I said. Uh, so the protective case that they include here is very nice. You basically just match uh, the top part with the top part. And then of course, after that, just go ahead and put it in. It does not block anything. And again, Bluetooth is the main technology that they're using here. Now, the nice thing that we get here obviously is it provides us a nice more uh, grippable material on the back as this is a little bit more slippery. It doesn't cover the front, you have access to the button to turn it on and turn it off and of course the bottom part for the USB-C. Uh, they include a little spray bottle and this essentially is intended for saline solutions or basically uh, just enough to be able to provide the connectivity for the ear tip uh, for the left ear and we'll talk about that in a second. So you can refill it and of course just put in the solution and it carries with it very nicely. Uh, replaceable ear tips for different sizes as we're using in-ear solution here. And one thing I would probably say is this. If you've done or if you've had any problems in the past with uh, general consumer base ear tips, meaning they don't fit well or you have problems having them fit in your ear, you wanna be aware that this system may have some issues working because this requires for it to actually be inserted correctly in the left ear. This is literally almost where the, all the magic happens. It's the left connector and one of the reasons why we have a white dot on this. I'll explain to you a little bit more. But again, again, if you've had a problems in the past and you know that you don't have um, your ears don't necessarily work with the standard ear tips that we have on the market. Just be aware of that if you decide to pick the system up. The USB-C cable, as I mentioned, and everything else is pretty much set. Now, before we jump into the application, I do want to mention they do include a couple of information here. Uh, they do mention here on the safety card, this is the uh, Zen information, safety information. Uh, make sure that you're in good health. Make sure that you don't have any issues with like, cardiac uh, concerns or anything relating to the heart as there is basically a small electrical current that goes through the Zen itself to stimulate the vagus nerve in our ear. So that's one thing to say. And of course, they also mentioned that you need to be basically have to clean the tips and make sure that your ears are clean. Uh, and of course, it's intended to be used by healthy uh, users and that this is not intended to diagnose or treat any specific condition. So that's something to keep in mind. They do include that it will obviously in the box. The next thing obviously is the quick start guide. It explains to you everything that's included in the package that we went through, how to charge it directly from the wall using the adapter, downloading the Android and the iOS app, and of course, how to make sure that the left ear tip is connected correctly, and we'll show that to you guys. 
Uh, next, how to connect it directly into your smartphone using Bluetooth, pairing it directly within the app, customizing the sessions as there's different sessions. And one thing that I'm really happy about this is that now all of the sessions and all of the features within the app are included with the price when you purchase your device. So there's no longer premium features as they used to have in the past. Uh, the simulate, uh, simulation profile that you can go in here, simulation profile tips and all of that, you can definitely see and appreciate everything that's included here. Now, as I mentioned to you guys, the cable itself is a USB-C. So when you're using it, you pretty much disconnect it to the bottom of the Zen, and that pretty much is the way you're gonna interact. This connects over to your smartphone over Bluetooth, and then from there, we'll be able to connect it using the Zen Nuvana application. One thing to mention is the ear tips that are included in the package will cover two pieces. There's the left ear and of course the right ear. Both are removable, easily removable, although when you're using the left one, you'll notice that there's a slightly different piece. There is a little bit of a prong here. This is, a, uh, this is where the simulation or the vagus nerve simulation actually happens. And you need to make sure that the white ear tips, the one with the white dot, matches it and then it actually matches straight. So you put it in on top and then you switch it over and they need to be in this position. And then before you use it, the only thing you need to be aware of is before you turn it on, my recommendation is to do this, is to spray one, two or three different pumps on it to make sure that it's and it's gonna sound a little bit gross, but essentially it has to be moist for the conductivity of the electrical simulation goes from here to your inside in the ear. Uh, it doesn't hurt, I promise. It's literally, um, the sensation is a little bit more of a tickle than anything else. And you're also able to control it uh, to the level that you're comfortable with. So as long as you can feel it working, that's pretty much the level you wanna go. Now, to pair this to our smartphone, there's two things that we need to do. We need to pair it directly within the app and we also need to pair it as a Bluetooth accessory. So first thing I'll do is I'll press and hold the button. I'll give it a second to power on. We'll get the green color. Now for this to work perfectly fine, and I've already paired it here. You, otherwise you'll do that process by yourself. Uh, jump straight into the Bluetooth setting of your smartphone. From there, make sure you find your Zen or essentially the Nuvana Zen system. And then once you have it paired in this mode, you'll be able to jump back directly into the app itself. And then from there, just click on the little Bluetooth icon on the top right and give it a few seconds and it will turn green. Once you have that green icon with the Bluetooth connectivity, the Zen system is actually ready to go. Now, there's a couple of modes that you're able to use this. In the past, again, under sensation, this mode, so here sensation mode is what's turning on. Uh, there used to be a feature where you needed to pay an extra service and that's no longer there. You can see definitely on the top right that you can see the battery level of the unit itself and you should be able to get about about an hour, almost an hour to two hours worth of full usage uh, depending on how many sessions and the type of forms that you're using. There's different sections here. There's to choose the waveform and the sensation. Um, I think out of the box initially when I was going through the settings they recommended me going through uh, form, uh, waveform C and then mountain. Mountain being the most, um, I would say the most uh, standard, I guess, of all forms, that's the best way to describe it. Once you have that on, you select it, you select the mountain, uh, the, the basically uh, the mountain top as the form. And here you have basically the duration of the session. Typically I do 15 minutes and I've been doing it morning and evening. That's typically what I like to do. You can go longer, you can go shorter. Once you start the session itself, so we'll go ahead and hit start. You'll notice that the light starts blinking here and the light blue here turns on. And that means that's the essentially the point where this ear tip is providing the sensation or the simulation for the vagus nerve. So just be aware, if you do not feel it, you're able to play with the intensity level. Now, surprisingly enough for me, I, my intensity level is around nine. Sometimes it's 10, depending on the time that I'm in. And that's generally when I'm able to feel ever so slight tickle effect of it. So that's how I know it works. If you're not feeling it, two things are basically attributing to that. Either A, the ears need to be cleaned up, B, there's not enough spray on the actual unit itself. But make sure you're not drenching it. This is not something where you just dip it in the water. You have to just give it to where it's moist and it works perfectly fine. And then of course, as the session can go, you'll notice a countdown that's present at the top and you're able to use it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pause this one because I wanna share with you guys the other mode that I really like using. And that's the ability of using the sync mode. Now, sync mode works really nicely because as you can imagine, this kind of works like a pair of Bluetooth earbuds. So you're able to listen to your own music or your own content with these. The sync mode works really nicely because it actually pairs into the music that you're listening to and it provides the simulation as part of that. So it syncs up to the content that you're listening to. So again, you can pick up the waveform here. There is no different configuration. You basically go, I like to use uh, waveform C. Uh, the duration about 15 minutes, similarly pretty much the same. And then the only thing that you need to do is you need to initiate the content. So the music or the audio from the other source. And then at that point, the sync mode for music will work. It works with podcasts, it works with music players. 
For me, I like to turn on Google Play Music and it works just as well. Now, of course, once you have that configured, you can customize it. You can either load up some of your content in here and you can go, of course, under the settings tab, see exactly what the model number is, reminders, account details. Uh, you do need to sign up for an account here. And of course, reporting any bugs or issues, if you ever do, you can just submit that directly uh, within the actual app. Very easy to provide them feedback to know exactly what they need to fix. Now that I've covered for you guys exactly how to use the system, just to remember the things. If you have any problems with the ear tips not fitting in your ears correctly, this is something you need to be aware of. This is relying on that actually very good fit inside of the ear tip. So A, use the right ear tip for your ears. B, make sure the ears are clean and you use the spray. So make sure you're using the right solution here. For me, it's pretty much a saline solution. And then at that point, you're pretty much set to actually get the best experience. Um, set the actual waveform and of course uh, the different configuration and then of course increase the intensity by obviously by the incremental updates that you have in there and make sure that you get to the point where you're feeling it you don't want to feel it like it's hurting you just want to feel it that it provides the sensation so that you know it works so I've done that basically in the morning and I've used the different forms, the different sessions and so on. Uh, typically I keep it to about 15 minutes as I'm doing some work. Uh, and also sometimes when I wanna be able to just relax, meaning I'm just sitting around, I'm relaxing, I turn it on, I turn on some nice music and I allow the actual, uh, the Zen to do its magic. So after using the system for about a month, does it work and what are some of the tips and tricks if you decide to pick one of these guys up? Uh, first and foremost, now the price includes everything. There's no more additional features to be able to purchase or unlock directly within the app. That's a big plus. Uh, the ear tips themselves are not interchangeable. And what I mean essentially is that the left ear tip needs to be in the left ear. And if you want to take one out to be more aware of your environment, make sure the right one is the one you take out since it doesn't actually have any uh, stimulation built into it. The vagus nerve is in the left ear and that's what they're using to stimulate it using this system. Uh, the saline solution needs to be applied if you don't feel the sensation even when you go to level 9 or 10 make sure to clean the ear and make sure obviously that the ear tip is clean itself uh, and there's enough moisture on it and it should work for you guys well um, if you've had problems with ear tips in the past just be aware this entire system relies on the fact that this needs to be set very comfortably in the ear and it provide the sensation that it's intended it needs to be inside the, the ear canal so that's something to be aware of and of course the little quirk here that comes in with the android application is you do need to connect the bluetooth connectivity first before you hit that bluetooth icon in the app and that should fix your problems 99 percent of the time if you've had any concerns when it comes to connectivity uh, for my understanding, iOS does not have as much of a problem, but at least on Android with my S21 Ultra, that's pretty much how it's running with for me. I have to do that in that order, otherwise I would be frustrated to try to find out why it wouldn't connect. Now, as far as how does it work, does it actually provide any uh, the, the the claims of providing de-stress levels because of the stimulation of the vagus nerve? Um, I'm not going to speak on the vagus nerve stimulation and as to the medical experience that comes around that because I'm not a medical professional. What I'll say is this. I know that the system works and I know I was able to get it to work consistently once I was able to figure out and work out the, the little quirks that come around with running it, with Android at least. Um, overall, using it in the morning and the evening for about a month, for me, provided me an experience to be able to see that essentially I can't put my finger on, on it saying that it 100% made me feel better but I know that it was working and I know that I wasn't feeling worse. So in a certain way, that's the experience I was able to get with this. I can't necessarily say 100% sure this is exactly the reason why I felt better. Um, I have other mechanisms during, in my lifestyle that allows me to relieve stress and maintain my stress levels, such as running, weightlifting, and of course, doing, um, spending some time for the family, uh, relaxing and doing different things to, uh, throughout the day. This system is really intended, I feel like, a little bit more to people that are more prone to uh, more fluctuation in the mood and the stress level, meaning their stress level can spike up very high and it obviously can drop very quickly. And those things may be a little bit more, uh, I would say, conducive to this type of system as it allows it to actually work much faster. If you guys are thinking about picking one of these guys up, of course, I'll give you guys a link in the description below. I do want to say thank you very much to Nirvana for sponsoring this video, but that the opinions that I'm sharing with you guys today and how to use this uh, system was based on me using this the system entirely for a month and that to me was something that it was definitely a different experience using a tool to provide me stress relief as opposed to using any kind of medication or other things out there uh, is definitely a first for me so i hope you guys enjoyed this video again thank you very much for the support like and subscribe as usual uh, if you'd like to find out more information about the zen from nirvana there'll be links in the description below i'll see you in the next video